Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment and welcome uh, come back to Axel's Equestrian Reviews. Well today we'll be re reviewing My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 1, Episode 6, Boastbusters. Now, a brief synopsis of the episode. Trixie comes into town and is like, oh yeah, I'm the best pony ever. And she's just sewing off and stuff. And Twilight, everyone's like, Twilight, go and s teach her a lesson. And Twilight's like, no, I don't want people to think I'm a boast. Eh, I'm a boaster, and people won't like me. And hijinks ensue as always. Uh, so there's many pros and cons to this episode. This uh, was a moderately funny, not nearly as eh, when it comes to funniness, it wasn't. It didn't nearly crack me up as much as, uh, of course, one of my favorite episodes, uh, Griffon the Brush Off. Uh, but it was a decent episode, and uh, the biggest pro about it is it introduced one of my favorite minor ponies of them all. The great and powerful Trixie! Hooray! And Trixie is awesome, and that definitely earned it some points. But, unfortunately, it's held back for also introducing two of my least favorite characters ever, Snips and Snails. Yes, lots of people don't like Snips and Snails. With my policy, I usually like the characters that the internet hates. Like in Mario Kart 8, I like the pink gold Pete. I don't think it's too bad, even though the internet hates that character. Uh, I usually go against the flow and like the characters that everyone else hates. But I, there's ba there's like no way I can really like Snips and Snails. Uh, and uh, Snips and uh, Snails was really dumb in this episode. I know he's supposed to be kind of slow. But seriously, we uh, you can make him uh, seem stupid without making him act like a retard, basically. Uh, no offense to anyone out there, but I'm just saying, you can make him seem stupid without making him offensive, and he was basically offensive. So, there's many good things and bad things. Uh, I'd have to say that be it would get more points because of Trixie, but because of Snips and Snails, and because it overall was an average episode, I'm going to give it three and a half out of five stars. Do you agree with me? If you do, or if you don't, leave your comments in the section below. Was I right? Did I judge this too harshly? Do you like snips and snails? Uh, tell me in the comment section below. And, uh, uh, next time I'll be reviewing Season 1, Episode 7. And until next time, I'm Axel, from Axel's Equestrian Reviews, and goodbye!